Yo, what's going on? It is your Bailey Samutupi and I thank you so much for being here and watching this video. On today's video, we are going to be speaking about how you can handle throwdowns and on top of that, how you can actually turn a throwdown into a profitable situation or profitable positions. So one thing that I'm going to need from you is to obviously like this video and as well, make sure that you have subscribed to my YouTube channel and comment below. Tell me the things that you are thinking or what it is that you are going through in your trading journey just so I can be able to help you out. So now at the same time, most make sure that you are in our Telegram public group whereby we are looking into growing our group so we can help out more people just so they can be able to reach their trading goals. But enough with all of that. So let's get straight to today's topic. So now the first thing that you need to be doing when you are going through a drawdown is that you need to evaluate your strategy. So what do I mean by that? Um, when you are evaluating your strategy, you are basically going back to um, your strategy and you're looking at the data. You're looking at some of the past data. So let's say now you're going through a drawdown in April and you're using that specific strategy. You need to go back all the way back to the previous year in April and the other previous year in April and maybe five or four more years back in the years in the month that you're going through a drawdown in order to see that if this is a normal thing that actually happens whether the market conditions throughout the time frame is always like that so that's the first thing that you need to do you need to evaluate your strategy but on top of that you need to as well be able to just look at how does it affect your win rate so what i mean by how does it affect your win rate is that normally you'd see that you are actually going through a drawdown or you are losing trade after trade and after trade but most importantly is that when you happen to find that one trade that is going to be turned into a profitable trade you find out that it's actually going to put you in the ahead of like weeks so let's say now for instance you've took five trades for the week already and you are down by five percent all of them are like they've went against you they've hit stop loss so what happens is that find out that you are actually going to catch that one profitable trade that's going to give you six percent or seven percent on which if you look at it yes your win rate is a bit too low because obviously you've took five six trades and you've lost five trades and you've only won one trade so your win rate is low but what is your risk compared to reward your risk compared to reward is a bit more greater so that's something that we're actually speaking about with my one of my members in the mastermind group and what, what he was actually showing me is he has a low win rate like he had like a 40 percent win rate in fact not even he has it he actually had like you know um um statistics of the back testing that he done he had like 30, 30 uh, 40 percent win rate so on top of that what he done is that he actually came back and he showed me that but if he actually strategizes and does everything the way that he actually looks at it he's been profitably gaining 36 percent um every single month so imagine with a 40 percent win rate he's been getting 36 percent each and every single month how does that happen that is obviously being able to know that yeah the win rate is low but the risk compared to reward is a bit more greater so that one trade that you happen to catch is actually going to help you move throughout the, to the next level so now the second thing that you should be looking out for when you're going through a drawdown is that you need to be able to have a mindset of one big trade so what do i mean by that is that with one big trade for me truly speaking as much as i've been trading for years as much as like you know um i've had trades that made me this much and i've had trades that lost me this much and all of that you know um that, that's all true but at the end of the day what changed you know um, my life or what changed a lot about me is just one single trade because remember each and every trade that i take it's building up on my portfolio it's building up my experience it's building up who i'm becoming in the market so each and every single trade matters to me but truly speaking there will be that one trade that you are going to catch in the markets and once you catch that trade you'll be able to just scale you'll be able to scale you'll be able to make profits that you never thought that you'd make in a single day or maybe just in a single trade so that's what the fact um, of you being able to just look at it because most people they can blow accounts most people can hold the trade up until it blows up their account or goes against them but they've never really had the benefits of seeing one trade turn into a big win and they actually be able to change their life or actually be able to make profits for the month or for like you know the next three months so you need to have a mindset of one big trade will be able to just jump you to the next level in a much more quicker way so now the most important thing that you need to be able to do when you're actually going through this tough time or this drawdown is you need to be able to just focus on keeping your mindset afloat or keeping your mindset in the right level because truly speaking guys mindset or psychology plays a major part in your trading but if it happens that you are now in a drawdown and you'll be able to just see that okay no 
with this with the mindset that i have like because at the end of the day you happen to you have to be positive throughout all obstacles because let's say now for instance you are going through a losing time frame or you are going through a losing week and if you start telling yourself the strategy is not working my mentor is not working um you know the signals are, are bad uh, 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 this person this person i didn't learn from the right person. you know you tell yourself all of that obviously you are going to get what you're telling yourself you are going to get those results of what you're saying to yourself but if you happen to say no this is just the phase that you know um, i should be able to it's testing me to see if my strategy is actually working because if my strategy is working and my risk is also my risk management strategies are working it means that even throughout a drawdown you shouldn't be able to lose the amount of capital that you're comfortable with you shouldn't lose more than you're willing to to risk at the same time if you happen to do that what you should do is you should just go back to your trading plan and you should look at what happens throughout a, a drawdown and you should be able to just improve your trading plan because a trading plan should be able to have these moves and these um you know set guidelines that will allow you to know what to do throughout bad times and at the same time throughout good times because remember that one good trade that you can have yes that's a beautiful thing you can be able to experience those nice things but you should be able to know what you should do after that because some people they make so much but they give it back to the markets and when they blow their account they blame something that's external so those are things that you need to be able to cut out so now the last point that i'm going to leave you guys with is you know when you're going through a drawdown the most important thing is to just reduce the amount of time that you're going to be trading but at the same time focus and put more time and attention to you being able to just literally consume information because remember at the end guys some people they think that when they're consuming information or when they are learning or when they are growing they think that that is for someone else but truly speaking that is for you because if let's say now you've been able to make a thousand just today imagine if you can learn and get more information or more knowledge what would you do where would you be in the next few months you see so it's more about like you know when you improve when the skill grows also your capital the amount of money that you can make the potential of what you can make in the markets grow so you need to be when you're going through these tough times what you should do is stand a bit more back and be able to just look at what can you do in order to just like you know um move to the next level so when you do happen to be in a drawdown mentally you're okay financially you've got enough capital to hold you on and all those things that are actually holding you so it's very important to consume so much information and fortunately because of my youtube channel you can get each and every single thing that we're speaking about trading on my channel make sure that you've already subscribed like this video but at the same time i'll leave in the description box where you can further your you know trading skills trading knowledge if you actually are looking for mentorship i'll leave the link in the description and at the same time make sure that you're in our community our telegram community which is growing rapidly every single day the link is also in the description it is your very summer thank you so much for watching